Welcome to the tavern. Here we go. You got some, mine. I got, you got I got some crazy eyes. colors. Yeah, you got like yeah. blood eyes going. I, oh I tried to like gosh. move like you made like her skirt is brown instead of how like her bark is brown. And then I made her bark gray like the legs are gray. And then I made the legs green like this, like the skirt is green. So it's the same color. So just moving around. She actually kind of looks like a corrupted form kind of from DD2. For the, yeah, uh, I was going to say looks kind of like that. So uh, what, do, so, what do we start with? Uh, so I mean, we gotta we gotta start with uh not her abilities because right. uh, those kind of one of her abilities into... affects her towers. So uh, so, yeah. the main main tower is gonna be her root of purity. Yeah, this is basically so, what all of her towers have to be placed around. Yeah, so if you look, if you see like on fills, instead of how auras go all the way over, uh, we're looking at doing a much more simpler um like ring that shows around the ground and potentially make it a little taller. But if you even get yeah. close to it, you'll see there's kind of these like little leaves that are, uh, are, are Oh are yeah. I see that in, there. in the texture. Yeah. Uh, so we very we subtle, but in, yeah. <laughs> and, and looking to potentially pump that up a little bit more mm -hmm. as well to kind of show the range. Um, and then we can do uh, her first tower. I don't know if, if the, if the uh, VFX for the wisps are 100 percent right now, but I don't know. Let's find out. All right, why. Let's let's see. The transition is oh, uh, it's man, gonna be instantly. Yeah. So so this is a little work in progress. Uh, so what we've got here is the the three wisps act as one, so they're always attacking the same target, and they're also going to um focus high priority targets first and foremost. I know with like in DD2, a, a lot of these would just go after random enemies and kind of bounce around. Uh, but within DDA, it'll be very similar to how other towers uh, have specific targeting. So things like gins and, and ogres and what have you will be focused first and foremost. Oh. Um, and then like you can also have one person build uh, their blockade and then have other people as well if they want to build additional uh, defenses within the range. It looks uh the the middle point on this for the the dummy is kind of like inside of it, but for like smaller enemies and stuff like that, more visible. Yeah, and this and this will also like go with like attack rate and hit a lot faster, um, and have more wisps going goblet. as well. Uh, so so this is and we're not going to talk about scaling or damage equivalency here at all. Uh, so if you ask those questions, like they're probably just gonna get ignored. Um, but the idea here is again, like one of the things with the with the hornets in DD two is there's multiple AIs being controlled and bouncing between targets. So instead, we're having three stick together, and like we don't really have any plans to make there be more than that maximum wise. Well, we've got some other things planned to make things kind of change over time. Um, mm -hmm. but for now, like it's it's just gonna be the three, and then they'll. They, like I said, they'll use a priority targeting system similar to what other towers have done. Targeting um, like gen and stuff like yeah. that. And then their AI, like they should never break pretty much. So, all right. Yeah. Uh, should we go in the next tower? Yeah, we can go to the next one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell put, my, uh, my Wisp Dins. Yeah, I'm going to put it. Oh, you're going to put it over. Uh, I'm going to put it right right here. Uh, oh, your Wisp Din? Okay. Oh, this this fella. So yes, yeah, so <laughs> where's he attacking? On, what do you mean? Wait. Oh, for, so on mine he's attacking. Oh, does it look differently? Yeah, yeah, it's shooting off, but that's a that's a client issue. Yeah. But yeah, so uh, so the beaming blossom um, is probably what people would consider the replacement to the harpy. Harpy. Yeah. Um, with with some a little bit of difference, uh, just being like how the attacks are focused again, like higher priority targets that are within range. Um, the harpy, which I think we actually just resolved in DD two, uh, was like animation locked. Whereas this this tower is going to be based off of its rate, uh, for how fast it's attacking. It, it gathers energy, shoots out a beam, uh, deals a bunch of damage very quickly, uh, recharges a bit, and so the defense rate will affect. I think the rate at which the damage goes out, but also lower the recharge rate um, mm -hmm. as well. And then, well, we didn't do this with the Wisp, but uh, as you activate uh, your Warden mode, or sorry, your Warden mode, your Wrath mode, um, it'll also... Do we want to show off Wrath mode? Yeah, go for it. 
we should show this with, with each one of the towers. So you get a swirling of uh, of nature energy flowing through you, and it buffs your your nearby towers. And you'll um, notice so, now that the the beaming blossoms are actually shooting through the target and can hit multiple enemies up to their their maximum range. Yep. And we don't have the scaling in right now uh, for this build for like range increases and rate increases entirely. Um, so it's going to be pretty static on that end right now. So we won't be showing like max, uh, like, uh, like late game kind of values. But yeah, so this, this means like if you have a lane of enemies coming in, you activate wrath mode while you're fighting the enemies. You don't have to be by the towers. You just have mm -hmm. to have it activated. Um, so you activate wrath mode and then, uh, they'll now pierce through and deal a ton of damage to pretty much every enemy in the lane. And to show off, so the another thing for the Roots of Purity is in this range, it'll actually heal you uh, once per second. And then oh, in yeah. Wrath Mode, it will actually become corrupted and start dealing damage to the enemies. Now, this scaling and rate is probably not going to be final, but it does. it's just representative of what um, would be in, in the game. So yeah. now your, your Roots of Purity almost becomes like an electric or in itself there's a couple questions about if someone else activates wrath mode how does that work for other people's placements other uh, there's a couple things we still need to go through with that so there might be some technical hurdles to, to make that work um so like no real comment on that yet because it would be something cool but it's just the the feasibility of it um so maybe is what i'll leave it at and we'll kind of go from there so the next tower uh, this one is actually unless it like, got you gotta give it some range. You gotta give it some unless you know, like... unless it got change. I don't think this one will actually work on a dummy yet. Yeah. Oh no, that's fine. Oh, he just he, did he just he, explode? He did something. Yeah, he just said no more. Okay, just... so we'll, we'll have to show that one off in a map. Uh, yeah. It. What a cutie. I think right now in Tavern it just auto detonates for because there's no like there's no pathing on this map. Yeah. And so they they kind so the way that the uh, the shroomies work is they follow uh, and then the, blow the up path splines that we have set up and uh, then if to, you're like corrupted enemies. they will actually put a dot on the enemy yeah. they put a damage over time effect on enemies that deals a significant amount of damage as well yeah see it puts a little, a little dot on the the dummies so if you had like Oops. a bunch of these. I don't know if the dot stack, but definitely can start to get a lot of AOE explosive damage going on. Yeah. And then let's see what I'm gonna move this. So it's not attacking the tower. The fifth tower. The is it called the slime launcher or the sludge, sludge launcher? launcher? That needs to get changed. Probably an old sludge. name. But uh, so this oh, tower on there, yeah, on the tooltip it still says slime. <laughs> uh, this will uh, shoot a. It's kind of a slow attacking tower, but it will basically hit the target and then actually put a effect on all of, all of the enemies within that range. And then well, when it's got, a, it's got go two ahead. effects. Yeah, it's got. So, so it'll do a heavier version of a slowing effect on the primary target that it hits and then it'll put a lesser slowing effect on targets around it so it acts as both a damage and as a cc uh and then if you're in wrath mode and you hit the primary target that has the heavier amount of sludge on it it can get stunned for i think it's like a it's second, like a second and, a half. and a half yeah yeah so if you if you have and i think it does extra stuff, damage too i think so yeah i think it explodes um so the idea is like you have all this stuff going on with your shroomies, with uh, with your wisps, with the. Oh, we never awesome. showed the the wisp form. I think it just attacks. Yeah, more it often it just attacks times. really yeah. quickly. Yeah, it, probably it's, not it's this quickly, kind of but uh. Yeah. But it goes much faster, and so like so we had a bunch of these, and get some some crazy it's numbers so scaling. Crazy, yeah. I just love how colorful she is and all her stuff. Yeah, the her melee attack cleaves. All right, so now we get into hero abilities. 
So the first yeah. one I think is, uh, I mean, so her left click is obviously going to be her melee attack. She uses pole arms. Uh, she does not have a ranged projectile like the monk. Uh, so she doesn't take advantage of those. Uh, but her right click has this cool targeting uh, reticle. And when you call it down, it basically plants a seed. And there's, there's another effect. But the this seed, when picked up, will replenish mana. And then I think, is it enemies within that range take damage, I think? Yeah, uh, it's when it's when you activate it uh, while in wrath mm -hmm. as well. I think I think it's I think it's I well. I think well. yeah. There's there's basically two forms. Whenever you call it down in wrath mode or pick it up, yeah. it'll do that and then whatnot. Yeah, you call it down, it deals damage, uh, and then I don't know if the, if the pickup deals damage or not. Um, no, it doesn't. It just, but what it does is it'll give you uh, like fifty. I think it's fifteen percent mana. Uh, it also as well. makes you. Oh, that's a mushroom. When you pick it up in wrath mode, you get much quicker. Oh, yeah. You get a movement speed. You, get you can get around. A bit. Zoom. And they, they replenish pretty quickly. So, like, you can almost keep up a buff the entire time. Yeah. I think it's, like, right at the, about the same time, like five seconds. Yeah. There, there's, a, there's a short cooldown. So, you're not just spamming them all over the place. Because mm -hmm. um, otherwise, you would just be getting infinite mana. And uh, and uh, move speed just nonstop. So, but that said, like you can have a pretty high uptime if you're reliably using your abilities. And then, lastly, the the F ability is a mushroom, uh, or that I think heals enemies or not heals <laughs> heals yeah, allies heals players that are within it. Um, and then and in wrath mode, it it does damage, right? And you, you turn it on wrath mode, you drop it, uh, and then it'll deal damage. It'll also slow enemies that are going through it. Um, so it's it's just one of those things where you've you've got a lot of different abilities down. and yeah. towers going on, and you kind of want to like they they work well on their own, but also playing with wrath mode uh, really does a lot to in, in increase the the power and efficacy of all these towers entirely. <laughs> So we have, like, like he heals enemies. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, not, uh, not the enemies. But yeah, it's an so, extra trick. So the idea with like every one of the heroes that we release, we don't want it to just be, okay, hey, I've got this hero and I'm gonna have it just do like just build the stuff and swap off of it. There's a ton of stuff that we have coming that I can't talk about now that will really change up gameplay like quite a bit like it won't change what people currently do if they want to do that um but there is a lot of stuff coming and so the dryad is is one of those examples where you can build her stuff and she's one of those heroes that you should actively be playing while you're also building for her um to get the most out of her towers and her abilities but if people still want to like do afk stuff and, and do boost metas and whatnot like they're more than welcome to but Boost meta shouldn't be the only meta. Let's let's uh let's go into the map. Yeah, boring. let's go check it out. Woo. I think someone might have guessed it. Probably not mushroom. I, that that guy didn't definitely guess it for been sure. multiple guesses. Nah, I don't think anyone's got. Uh, it. the seed cooldown. I think uh, it it's like pretty much right after. So I think it's five seconds between seeds or something like that. So like by the time your buff ends, you can kind of call it back again. Oh, her 360 sweet double jump. Yeah, so with, with every one of the heroes, we always like try to add in... Um, oh, add yeah, the something. twirl. Yeah. It only happens, like, sometimes. It's like a, a chance. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that chance is. Sometimes. Or it's oh, like so a specific it's... trigger. But, all right, let's go into the map. Uh, this one is uh, Forges and Foundries, if you haven't guessed it already. Nope, uh, that's not what it's called. You read it wrong. Oh, did I... Boundaries and forges. What did I say? Yeah. Forges and foundry. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know why. And there's so many it, people who've I, written I, that. I always like say like it, it backwards. Well, I, I yeah, think maybe we should just change it's, it. It's alphabet. Not at this point. We just went through and renamed all the maps Rep. to make sure they oh. match. So that, that train has, has gone. Whoops. <laughs> uh, and it's represented by a golden corgi icon. Uh, final art. Final art. Uh, we're not yes. playing this on Nightmare. No, we're playing this on, on, on Medium. Medium, Our not characters hard. don't scare right now. Uh, not a public game. 
uh, there's going to be, in each episode, there's going to be three remade maps, uh, and then one brand new one, along with a brand new enemy, a brand new boss, and then two heroes, one old uh, reimagined hero, and then one brand new one. So, as as people have guessed, and as we just said, this is Foundries and Forges. Um... A little bit, a little bit more uh, menacing looking, I would say, than in the past. Uh, Definitely, so yeah. One th- so one of the things that Phil pointed out was we used to have this, like these pillars here and this big roof that covered this area. Um, that's all. But open. then we made this giant furnace that's in the back here. That this is what powers like all of the stuff across all the all the multiple maps that use any kind of things like Magus quarters. Uh, so we made this giant thing, and if you look up, like all the all the pipes and whatnot are going through different parts of the ceiling and the walls. Uh, so the, the lore is like, this is the, this is the, uh, the boiler the room or wait, what, what is it? The, the mitochondria, what's the powerhouse? Uh, mitochondria. Yeah. yeah mitochondria, mitochondria. Yeah. This powerhouse is the mitochondria of the, of the castle. Uh, so, um, so this was also a map in, in DD2 and DD1. And we thought it was fitting to bring back, uh, for DDA as an encore map for episode one. You uh, uh, you think the lava hurts? Uh, it should. Let's find All right, out. Let's find out mm. together. Nope. Definitely doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt All a right. bit. That does not Kills, count though. as a death chat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, rename the map to the mitochondria. Well, what, what, what if it was like the mighty chondria? Now, these Ooh. over here, uh, I actually created a special tool for the designers to use. Uh, oh, yeah. These do not actually kill you instantly, but they do hurt. Yeah, they don't feel great. I don't like that. There we go, heal up. There we go. And Perfect. I think, I think currently you can place defenses on them, but that should probably not be the thing, especially because it kills enemies. On core maps, never follow the theme. That's just pretty much how it goes. Like across, <laughs> well, I guess like Megas Quarters kind of does. Um, but Endless Spires most most certainly does not uh, with where it falls, and then Glitterhelm does not at all follow. You're on you're on a rooftop, and all of a sudden you're yeah. not. Encore uh, maps are just meant to be like recreations of uh, re- like fan favorites and stuff like that. Yeah, so we can we can have some fun. Let's try the... a marshmallow pet. So, uh, oh what's what's gosh. what's the plan here? Uh, I'm gonna build over here. I'm building only only warden. Can I, let's see. Can the the beaming blossom hit down? Actually, uh, oh, I I built walls and then I don't have anything left. I wanna I, I wanna put some shroomies. Let's see, where's where's a good? I can put oh, my you're not, wall you're not up here. Any kind of blockade. You gotta realize we're playing in medium with no stacks. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a shroomy here. A uh, mushroom, actually, that would go with the theme. A mushroom cake pet. It's true. What what exactly is the aesthetic of a mushroom cake? Does it look like a mushroom? Does it look like a cake? What are we working with here? All right. So I think we're going to have to def- <laughs> We can build on these side lanes and then just kind of defend this middle one. Should be easy. Yeah. They're going to have, like, no health. I want to... Well, I, I'm going to watch this shroomy run into to combat because it's great. Okay. Uh, let me see. Do I have any... Oh, I don't have any weapons on me. Dang it. Uh, have- yeah, you probably want, like, a weapon or at least some more hero damage because currently yeah, you do really- one damage. No, I was, where, I was where does this door go to? That doesn't matter. Who knows? I want to know where this door goes. Don't ask questions you're not prepared to know the answers to. I'm, pre- I'm prepared to know. I don't think you are. <laughs> not prepared All to right. handle. That's, uh, that's you it. You can't handle uh, the door truth. Can we spoil new features <laughs> of episode one? No, not yet. Not, not this right. stream. No look way, at, look at him go. He just explodes. Oh, my, my, oh and then it, the whisk. Nothing, nothing is getting through. Here, yeah, my wisp is just destroying, like just bouncing between. Nope, don't live. Oh yeah, this is gonna be easy. <laughs> We're not gonna see an enemy for a while. Oh. Cake is behind the door. That's true. <laughs> oh, we we don't have we don't have that's, the uh, we don't have the tag map. That's for my this surprise. Yet. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's it's like one shotting everything. Wait, you're saying I'm we gonna, still I'm, have deeper well tech maps? Yeah. Who's faulted? I'm get I'm getting rid of rid of my uh, wisp. 
Like, wait, it's, it's just one shotting everything before it like my, has a I'm chance put to a, walk out. Let's see. Can I put a beaming blossom up here? It's probably not the most effective use, but actually, I'll put it down here. Okay, I'm putting I'm putting my stuff up here. Oh, I died. It's my special move. But probably put. I'm gonna come out of these doors. How like. much? Uh, how much mana do you have? I'm at sixty-five. I need like five more. Uh, I have yes. three. Dang. Yeah, you can you can have that. Oh wait, no, I got seventy. I'm at seventy now. There's wow, give me my mana back. No, <laughs> it's mine. I need it. Oh the man, I go corrupted for him. throwdown on stream. <laughs> give I, got, me I mana. already spent it. I can't. I can't get it back. All right. I built oh, no. this as my sh as my uh, beaming blossom lane over on the like east side of the map. Uh, this lane is just gonna be a bunch of shrooms over here. These are actually like really really affordable. On the, on the pipes above this. I don't know, no 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 no. That's the the shrooms are down yeah, below. Can't. No no no. He was asking if you could put stuff on the pipes. Oh I see. They were asking, and I well I don't have mana to build, but uh no you you won't be able to. Wanna I just wanna watch these. These shroomies run into combat. God, they're so oh, cute. They're just like, oh yeah, there's there's like four different shroomies. There they go. Look at them go. And they and they pop right back up. Hey guys. Oh, you didn't you, the way you placed your blossom here, so that we the like range we currently have their their hitbox at is is pretty narrow. Mm -hmm. Um. I was trying to. I wanted to place. Yours was just getting beat on. Yeah, I was gonna place a second one for the other lane. Oh, I I know what's happening. The uh, okay, uh, so so on clients, what's happening is the um, the the beaming blossom is shooting to zero zero. Yeah, <laughs> that's weird. It's all right, we'll get it fixed. That's well, that's no one can see it but me, so it's all right. Exactly, it works fine on my machine. No, you're getting four maps in the first episode. Mm -hmm. One uh, brand three, new, yeah. And then, that'll continue the campaign, and then the the new encore map as well. So this is the encore map, and then we still have one more map to show off, but that's not this week. And it's a cool it's one. Week. It's it's really cool map O two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We just figured why beat around the bush with the names anymore. Warden review is just shroomy review. That's true. I mean, if you guys want us to take even longer to get content out and like have a fifth map in this, we can. It'll just push things back by like a month or two. So I mean, if you really want a fifth map and more like uh, more of like content dry spell, by all means, we can add a fifth one. But uh, it just will take longer, it which takes then time. makes us have to start charging for DLCs because wow. of development time going into it. So I'm just saying, like, we can make that happen if you're gonna be sad about new content. Uh, but there's alternative. Let's see what. I, uh, should, I'm this a, is okay. <laughs> I'm gonna put a sludge launcher. The corgi. Right, so I'm gonna a, keep fighting for that. I'm gonna keep fighting for that one. Let's see if corgi we can make a, a corgi grenade launcher. Ooh. By the way, I, gun, but I hope uh, Juice Bags or Anthem is uh, watching right now, so they can see these pro build strats for whenever they go to make their own. Uh, Tutorial they videos. They both are. I know for a fact. I've seen them chatting. Wait, where were you building? Uh, down by the beaming blossoms. So like, it slows them, and oh, the, the beaming these. blossoms will have like extra time to. Oh, like slowing them, they can target him. Oh man, that one missed. <laughs> Did a lot of damage. Even... That oh, thing yeah. does twenty five hundred damage. <laughs> But again, no, none of this stuff is like properly scaled at all. Uh huh. Not at all. We also don't have on this build the uh, the sound effects for the warden in either. I really hope someone just like finds a way to build only shroomies. The shroomy king. I mean, that would that would be a fun map. Having oh, I I got I mean I gotta write this down. Hold on. They're so cute when they run. Uh, we'll we'll, re we'll be revealing the the last map at some point. 
we're gonna be revealing a lot of stuff. This is this is not the end of uh the reveals. For this week it is, but we've got so much going on. I love the uh the forge here. It, the forge also looks like kinda like it's got giant horns coming out of the side as well, like from the top. I wonder so if you can a little parkour up it. Ooh. Oh, not on this case. Yeah, not not on this one. Maybe. Maybe another one. Let's, let's see. How I can get up there? No, that seems like it's not going to happen. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the what the. Yeah, that's that one's red. That's red. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna change my word. There we go. Can shroomies run around corners? Yeah. So what they do is they follow uh, pathing splines. Yeah. So if like an enemy's in range that they can see, uh, then they'll run down and they'll what run around I, walls and stuff. What happens if I, I put the just, shroomies up here? Yeah, you, uh, you can try. We're, we're going to do it for science. That's fair. There you go. For si then the name of science. What happens if I, can I, what if, what if I put one up here? It's also one of our like we we haven't balanced this map out, so there's still a couple things a little rough with it, but that's fine. That's we're fine. we're play testing. We're play testing right now. What's the what is wait? What did I say? That's a surprise. Brittany leaking thing. Oh gosh. Oh, remember right. they said that Brittany had had a surprise. She had to figure out a surprise. Oh but man, yeah, there look, goes the they're right running the wall. Oh my god, they all blew up. I th do they chain react? <laughs> Maybe. I think they do. Some of these are blowing up a little early. That's fine. Uh, yeah, so they do not put them on ledges. They do not work on ledges. But they will go yeah. around corners. Yeah, they'll, they'll run down the stairs like it's, uh, like it's Christmas Day for them. And then at the end, instead of opening presents, they explode. Uh, so they make a similar screaming noise, but not the same. <laughs> they're they're not very like intelligent, so yeah, they kind of just yell. Yeah, I mean they're they're they literally like spored up, and then instantly we're just like look I gotta at run. that. It just like took out that entire thing, and then they respawn, and then it'll be a good a it'll be a good AOE tower to like. Kind of get that first like wave. You have ten built up here. I, I just like realized that. I've been using my warden. Uh, oh, my... I've, been, I've been popping mine. Oh my gosh! Just they're just gone. so cute. Oh my <laughs> gosh! I can't. I can't. We'll be selling uh shroomy plushies, uh, just because of how crazy merchandising prices are. Uh, oh. shroomy plushie, hundred dollars. That seems fair. Yeah, that's that's valid. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> they explode into spores that help uh, help grow forests. That's that's the the live lore writing right there. There you go. Oh, that's our that's our next partnership is like build a bear. You know, build a bear. Like, yeah, build right. a shroomy. Look at those laser beams go. <laughs> shroomies it's like a whole like parade of them just running down the stairs it's an army it's an army of shroomies yeah that might that might be a bug with them right now it's like if one explodes they all explode I, yeah, I, as much as i like that i feel like it should probably be the other way Can yeah yeah it's it'll, it'll be one they won't they won't affect one another that's just a, a bugaboo with it um but yeah i, I just love the the parade of shroomies like as they run that's amazing. Right. I've never seen that many built together. Well, does anyone have any questions while we're wrapping up the last wave and the stream? Now's your chance. But if you ask specific questions about how stats will scale or balancing or any of those, you probably will not get very clear answers. Uh, oh, you know what? It looks like we don't have the nameplate changes on here on these set up yet. So when you upgrade them, it doesn't show the, the stars. Oh, no, there's an ogre attacking my... 
There we go. You should have had him in the uh wait, which which ogre is this? Oh, that's right, he doesn't have proper name plate seven. That's fine, it's fine. He doesn't have a name. He's a no name mm. ogre. They're just bopping their heads. Oh my gosh. Shroomy. They're too powerful. I love the the shroomy army. The power of cuteness. It's just like overwhelming. If their target <laughs> dies, I think their AI just like runs to whatever the closest enemy is based on where it was running before. And then, and I, not, yeah, I, I like, think it runs to its last location and then blows up. Yeah, because otherwise, what you'd have is just potentially a shroomy that you'd is have what uh, the trying to target. You'd have the same issues that the the cloud had in DD two, where it was just like sitting in like random locations and not moving. Yeah. So these we we these purposely like try to avoid as many AI issues as possible. Actually, yeah. most of these don't even like really use AI. They're just the wisps. Kind of just go to their target, and then this, uh, the shroomies kind of just pathfind, uh, using the splines that the enemies follow. So it's very, so, very simple, which minimizes, uh, errors. Yeah. But like, ultimately, like when it comes to like playing, like it feels the same. So you get the same result, more or less, without like all the bugaboos that pop I just, up. And... I just got a, uh, achievement. Oh. I don't know what that Ooh. is, but. <laughs> So, yeah, but uh, let's see. Oh, uh, do we do our last giveaway? Phil? Uh, we're gonna do that in a second. Um, okay. hashtag what is it? Hashtag new map hype. New map hype. Uh, let's see what questions do we have. Uh, the melee arc is gonna be similar to the monk, I imagine, right? Yeah. Um, we're gonna we're also like here, here's here's like a fun a fun little bean. We're also looking at uh changing some stuff up. So that for melee heroes, it's easier to hit enemies that are also above and below you to a certain degree. So we're we're looking at like some improvements there as well. Uh, yeah, oh man, the the hashtag blocked out. Let's see. Our new map's gonna have new NPCs. Uh probably not. NPCs? I'm not sure no. what you're referring to. I don't think any of our maps have NPCs. Um, if they mean enemies, yes. Will we get a teaser for the new hero coming up? I would imagine no. so. We won't tell anybody about it at all. Well, yeah, Sorry, like in, in the dark. future. Nope, never. But nope. Uh, <clears throat> not, not in the stream. The... We couldn't handle all the excitement this week, and so I said never again. Uh, no more teasers. Said. I like I, I need to know which tower is just aesthetically the best tower in chat. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say like you don't have to you don't have to I'm not gonna influence it, but I, I just need to see you need to typing Wisp, Shroomy, Sludge Launcher, or Beaming Blossom. I I think I know the answer, but I just need to see <laughs> if we're if we're there in solidarity. Bliss is not a new tower, you're banned. Two spags earlier said, "All right, Phil. If we can't ask you about stats or balance questions, I'll just take de uh, dates, please." <laughs> I can't give you All that right. either. It looks like I would say overwhelmingly shroomy. So I'll Ruby. do what I can for for additional towers that we make in the future to use a very similar, at least having one, a very similar process of. All right, what are the like? What are some funny cartoon references that we can put into a tower? Let's do let's do the last giveaway. Chad uh Chaddy Duck, something like that. Chad Dewey Day. Chad Dewey Dex. Chad Dewey Dex. Chad Wee. Chad Wee Dex. All I know is That's, the Chad. That, that, that sounds like a French question towards some towards somebody named Chad. But That's I don't know true. it. Enough Can a French. harpoon bolt pick up a shroomy and launch it at enemies? <laughs> That'd be amazing, but way too complicated. That's a great question. That's a great question. Uh, when does the warden come out? <laughs> warden comes out when episode one comes out. How much money will it take for you to reveal the release date, Phil? Uh, I think that's a million dollars. It's it's up there. It's a pretty high number. <laughs> After I saw Andrew being warden scrambled, I tried to unscramble the other hero name in the <laughs> April first post. Oh, what was the other hero's name? What? Uh, there 
Was there two oh, was heroes it the in ban- it? It was like the ban- Banjolier. The Banjolier. Was that it? I can't something remember. Something like that. Um, let's see. Oh, the person that won the giveaway, uh, what reward do you want? Uh, Chad, would, do you want a DD2 or DDA reward? The DDA rewards are either the Corgi Pet or Rifted Corgi Mask. Or for DD2, you can choose uh, Pizza Wings or the Protein Chillment. Those are your options. <laughs> Banchelier is the reason we can't use the word Encore confirmed. You know what? Yep. Got I can em. live with that conspiracy. Let's go, to, mm-hmm. let's go back to Tavern while we um, finalize it. 